uh, why are you wasting so much of oil and milk on God? Where is it written ki uh, God says, Mere ko dood dena <laughs> and Hanuman saying, Mere ko tel dal. <laughs> I don't understand why, is, why are people wasting so much? Milk and honey is offered because most of the lingas that you're offering to are stone lingas, all right? A stone linga which is kept for worship or whatever else it may be, if you don't feed it with some kind of fat or oily material, either ghee or milk or something like this, it will crack, it will become brittle and crack over a period of time. So periodically you have to apply either oil or ghee or milk or whatever you like, something which… through which the stone can absorb fatty material so that there is integrity to the stone. So once you're worshipping something, you don't want it to crack up. That's more like a maintenance of… It is a certain maintenance. And also it… it makes the linga, if it is properly consecrated, it'll reverberate better if it remains wet. See, if you apply oil or ghee or even milk, the fat of the milk, the linga remains wet all the time. As I said earlier, you have to keep your body wet to receive. And similarly, linga has to be wet for it to exude this. So one simple way of keeping it wet is soak it in oil or ghee or honey or uh, milk, all these things which will keep it wet for a long period of time. If I pour water, that also is being done, it will remain for ten minutes and then it'll dry up. But if I pour milk, it stays wet for months on end because the fat has entered the pores in the rock. Is it… is this the reason why even Rudraksh is soaked in ghee? Of course, otherwise Rudraksh will become brittle and crack up. You just put b Rudraksh on your body, because of the sheer body heat and other things, in six to eight months it'll crack up. But if you periodically put it in ghee and uh, milk, it will last for a lifetime and more.